Hi, my name is Gabby and welcome back to my channel, Gabby on Paper. Today's video is going to be a little different than what I've put out in the past. It's going to be a plan with me for the month of June. I decided to incorporate these into the videos I post each month because obviously my budget is heavily impacted by what I have going on th throughout the month. I'm really hoping June will be the month I can stay within budget. <laughs> so I'm doing out everything I can and taking all the steps I can to make sure that happens and one of them is to make sure I have everything planned out. So let's go ahead and get started. I will be using uh, my Golden Coil planner. It is a new planner that I purchased but I actually, um, they refunded it. They were doing like a, like an Instagram promo thing and they re were refunding some orders and I was one of the orders so I was so happy about that because this is a pricey pricey planner. Um, first I guess, get this out of the way, I'm gonna bring you over to my budget binder where I keep all of my like financial inserts or whatever um, and this is what I use to keep track of the events that I have coming up throughout the year. Well, so first I wrote in everything I knew was coming up for the year. Um, and then as things come up, I schedule them, like I write them in or add them in sticky notes if I'm not sure if it's going to happen or not. Um, so my first step would be to look at this for the month of June. I have Father's Day, my mom's birthday, um, Oh, and these will only be events that I would spend money on. So my brother's birthday is actually in June as well, but I don't typically send him presents, so we'll leave that blank. <laughs> um, and then there is going to be, I'm, I'm trying to go to this like bookstore that is somewhere in the suburbs of Chicago. I don't really know where, um, between the 2nd and the 16th. And then we have a trip planned. We were planning to go to the NBA Finals if the Bucks made it. We were going to head up to Milwaukee and go see that, but they did not win their last series, so that is out. I am still hoping to go to a Cubs game this month, so I'll have to make sure to include that in my monthly budget. I just don't know when that will be yet, so it won't be part of my plans today. I'm going to go ahead and just move this out of the way, though, so I have room for what I'll be using today, which is, again, my Golden Coil Planner. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, um, so aside from that, because my Budget binder is something that I keep at home, and this is something I'm taking with me to work so I can, you know, write things down as they come up or whatever. I do have a couple of post-its for things that I want to make sure I schedule into my, um, into my plans for the month. So this, this, this planner does act like an, as an everything planner, um, so in this calendar, it's just like an overview of my entire month, including all the bills, all the events, all the TV that's coming out, things like that. It'll all be added on here by the end of the month. Um, so I guess the first thing would be for me to add the bills I have due. For the bills, I've been using the blue highlighter. And just like this, I just make a little, um, like color, like swatch, like a little square, and just write down what bills it is that I have coming out. So, so it, it, it does get tricky though um, with these, with this, the coil. Um, so I'll just fold this over for now. So the first I have rent, my utility fee and internet, and Netflix. Um, on the second, I have Apple One. On the seventh, I have Hulu. On the tenth, I have my Peloton. 
15th, my sticker subscription. <laughs> the 21st, where is that? I have my cell phone bill and then I also have my Nordstrom card that I'll have to pay off by then. Um, 21st. 29th, I have my electricity bill. On the 25th, I have Gap. Oh, and then on the 30th, I have um, Apple. Apple. Okay, so those are the bills, and now I just go in and um, and like fill them out. Okay, so all my bills are filled out. Um, I guess the next thing would be to write down and indicate like events that are going to cost me money. So for that, I use the color orange. So let's, let me think. Father's Day is one. Put that on the side since I already printed on the calendar. Um, my mom's birthday, I don't, I might like go out to eat somewhere she would have enjoyed. Oh, yes. Um, my friend's sister's getting married on the 16th, so that will be that. I can't go, but I am sending a present. that are noteworthy um just one of the things i want to make sure i remember um but i don't necessarily have to spend money on are in pink so that would be my brother's birthday is that it oh my gosh that is crazy okay so oh so for work i am using this like weird little mint color or something um and that will be on June 7th. I have a meeting with, with an important meeting with Dan at work, the CEO. All right, so we have these two, this one, this one. Oh, I forgot. This right here is the trip that we bought our flights for in May this month, I guess, because this will go up on Friday. Um, so that is, we're going to Austin to visit my boyfriend's family, and um, we'll be there for Father's Day weekend to spend some time with his dad, since we haven't seen him in a long, long time. And yeah, so Austin is done. I also like to make note of the television that is coming out that I like to watch. Um, so this will be my, that's yellow, and that is Only Murders in the Building. I love, love, love that show. Perfect. Oh yes, you know what, I did forget a couple things, okay. So, this bookstore that we want to go to in the suburbs, that means we have to rent a car for it, and then I am going to spend money at the bookstore that I'm planning on doing, because this is something that only goes to a few cities, and I'm finally in a city that this thing would come to, this event. Um, so I'm definitely going to take advantage of that. I'm not sure if we're going to do it on the, hmm, on this weekend or the second. It starts on the second to the 16th. I'll just make a, a note over here since I don't know when it will be. So 
So whatever day that we end up going, we're also going to do a Costco run. Um, that way we can go ahead and um, buy some necessities that just kind of be, are like annoying to buy without a car, you know? Um, or it, that are nice to have in bulk, for example, toilet paper. The other thing is the Cubs game. So these, I guess down here, I've decided to make this little section somewhere down here um, where I make note of things that don't have specific dates, but I wanna make sure I budget for when I'm doing this, um, when I'm creating my budget for the month of June. And then I have to make note of my paydays. I really like to emphasize my paydays by doing this. <laughs> So I get paid on the 5th and the 20th of each month. If the 5th or the 20th fall on a weekend like the 5th does, I get paid the business day before. So Friday. The 20th falls on a Monday, so that will just um, be a Monday. Um, and then the final thing is just I want to... Um, just make a little note of my YouTube schedule. I'm not going to write down that when what videos go when. I have a good idea of what videos I will post for each day in June, but I don't want to fully commit to it, so um, I'm just going to make a note of when they would be, which would be I try to upload on Tuesdays and Fridays at 11 a.m. Central, so mark your calendars. So adding those videos there really gives me um, just like a really good overview of the month and when I need to do what. Knowing that Austin is going to be this entire weekend, I likely have to film this video and my Tuesday video prior to that so that things, you know, progress like they should. Um, otherwise, I'll, I'll have to skip a day or push things back or whatever, but working 8.30 to 5 or 8.30 to 5.30 or whatever. Uh, this new job of mine, um, by the time I take the train home and everything, I get home kind of late in time for dinner and then it's like an episode of TV and then time for bed. <laughs> um, so it doesn't really give me a ton of time or daylight in the evenings to film videos. So I have to make do what I can to film what I can during the weekends. Like, I'm filming this video on Sunday and this video won't go up until this coming Friday. So just it requires a lot of pre-planning with how busy I feel because of this new job. But um, I think that's it. That's all I have for today's plan with me. Um, it's my first one, so <laughs> I may not have been the smoothest thing. I'll try to be better prepared for, for next month's um, Oh, just a little note. <laughs> I made these stickers using my Cricut and vinyl. I just cut out a bunch of shapes. Um, and these are ones that had just kind of randomly popped out. So I just put them down here for, for decoration. But So thank you so much for watching today's video. If you haven't done so already, give this a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye.